15 and good Sunday morning. Right now we have a bit of a break in the rain after there were some heavier showers this morning. We see our next chance of rain is going to come west from Georgia later today. Now we are in our one out of five risk for severe weather most of South Carolina, but as temperatures warm up today, that's going to give these storms and showers more energy. And so as these storms move from west to east over us in South Carolina and then up to North Carolina, they're going to get a little bit more intense. So we do see some areas in the eastern side of the Midlands that are going to see a better chance for some severe weather. Now let's talk about the risks. The biggest risks today are going to be some high winds and possibly hail. Now flooding, not a very big risk, but certainly heavier amounts of rain are possible with thunderstorms as they pass by and the tornado risk is low but it is not zero so let's talk a little bit about the timing of all this rain around 10 a.m that's when this second round of storms is going to start to move into south carolina by noon here we start to see some of the central areas of the midlands experiencing some heavier storms along with some gustier winds today now there's a lake wind advisory so if you have anything outside that could blow away certainly while we have this break in rain you're going to want to go outside and get that now and then by 1 p.m we're seeing the eastern side of the midlands start to deal with some of these showers and storms and again that's when these storms are going to start to pick up a little bit more energy temperatures are warmer so certainly around 1 p.m the eastern side that's when you want to make sure you're being weather aware getting all of your weather alerts and then the good news is we clear out rather quickly here's 2 p.m we're pretty clear now we could see a few lingering showers but for the most part we clear out and then we're going to see some sunshine later today and that's going to allow temperatures to warm up but right now temperatures are not too bad at all 63 degrees in columbia 66 in sumter near 70 already in orangeburg down in charleston at 71 degrees at this hour and then just a little bit cooler there in the upstate greenwood 59 degrees still but then we see rock hill 62 already. All right, here's your forecast for today. Temperatures, look at how they really warm up after that rain moves out of the area, though. Again, some lingering showers around 3, 4 p.m., but then around 5 o'clock, that's really when temperatures start to heat up. We're going to see our high temperature really around then. Lots of sunshine, which I know we all love after we've been dealing with just so much of this rain. Here's our current satellite radar. Again, we have a bit of break in the rain, but all this is thanks to the stronger low pressure system that's brought showers and storms from early this morning throughout today but then it starts to move and then tonight we're gonna have some clear skies which is really gonna allow temperatures to get a little bit cooler for the next couple of days drier and cooler air on Monday and then here's your summary for the week coming up dry calm weather which I know we're all excited about temperatures a little bit cooler than normal, but then they start to warm up by Wednesday. So here's your five day forecast. We're going to deal with some of those showers and storms today, but then we are rewarded with lots of sunshine for the next coming days. Notice on Tuesday winds could gust up to 40 miles an hour, but then we begin to warm up from there. Rachel.